In December 2012, Tyler's parents were out of town. I asked my parents if I could spend the night at Tyler's house. My dad said no. I begged and argued and ended up being able to. They would not have let me go to Tyler's house if they knew his parents weren't home. Around five or six that night, Tyler and I called Wesley and Vinny to see if they wanted to come over. Wesley wanted to hook up with the girl and that's how it, it all started. Wesley got her number and decided to text and call her to see if she wanted to come over and hang out. She told Wesley that yes, she would want to come over and yes, she would have sex with him. When Wesley and I got back to the house with the girl, we started drinking. I had about 10 to 12 shots within 30 minutes. The girl probably had three to four shots. Around 10 p.m., the girl took me by my hand downstairs where she unbuttoned my pants and started and then that led to us having sex. After I had sex with her, she kept on asking for more and I couldn't give any more. So around 10.30, I went upstairs and I told them that she kept on saying that she wanted more. And that's when Wesley went downstairs. When he came back upstairs, he had the same response as I did, saying that she kept on asking for more and more. I was in a daze, about to go to bed, pretty much passed out, and all I know is Tyler went downstairs. I don't really remember what happened when Tyler came up. I just know that Vinny went down there and tried to have sex with her, but she said no. The girl was very conscious. She uh, initiated the stuff between me and engaged with me first. When each of us were having sex with her, it was only one person with her at that time. There was a picture taken, but I don't know how, who took it or how it was taken. The picture was of Tyler on top of the um, young lady. There might have been two people down there because of the picture that was taken. We don't know if it was done off of a timer or if it was taken by one of the other boys. I woke up the next morning and Tyler and Wesley were taking the girl home. When Tyler and Wesley got back, we decided to have a football tournament on the Xbox. We did not talk about the night before. We're really competitive, so all our focus was towards the game. Nothing was said about the girl. During school on Monday, Tyler showed a couple people the picture. There was rumors going around that we used objects and we drugged her up and she was way drunk out of her mind. And none of the rumors were true at all. They were just getting worse and worse throughout the day. The girl was saying that everything was okay and that she had our backs for the rumors. She was also saying that it didn't happen. My parents found out on Monday. Somehow it got to a parent that knew my dad. My mom was crying and screaming that whole night because she was in so much pain. I was so upset to hurt the family in the way that I did. On Tuesday, we got called into the principal's office and he told us that we would be taken out of school. On Wednesday, the sheriff's department called my mom and told them that I needed to be brought in because I had a warrant out for me. So I was put in handcuffs. I was fingerprinted, swabbed for DNA. They also took my mugshot. I was arrested and charged with second degree rape. They had a search warrant for Tyler's house for supposedly the objects that we used. A pool stick and a game controller. They tested 12 pool sticks and four game controllers and they all came back negative for DNA. I'm not a rapist. I had consensual sex with the girl and she wanted to. I've never apologized to the girl because I haven't done anything wrong. In the Bible it says to forgive, but it's kind of hard because she isn't telling the truth. You say you didn't do anything wrong. Let's, and I heard your account of it. You guys went over to a home and you're how old at the time? 16. Okay, and what's the drinking age in your state? Um, 21. Okay, 21. So you say you didn't do anything wrong, but you were committing criminal behavior. You were a minor in possession and you were drinking alcohol. That's so right. when you say you didn't do anything wrong, that wouldn't be accurate, would it? No, sir. So your first answer Is, indicates yes, that you're not looking at this in a in a, an objective and reasonable way. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to help you get your story mm -hmm. out here, but let's be honest. Yes, sir. Four guys get together and you're drinking, which is illegal. Yes, sir. 
okay? And then a girl comes over, two of you go to get this girl. Yes, How much had you been drinking before she got there? I was sober. Because yes, she hadn't had anything. No, sir. There's four guys, a bottle of whiskey, and one girl. What could go wrong? Yes, sir. What, what could go wrong here? You, do you see yes, what, what I'm trying to say? And so when you say, I did nothing wrong, that's offensive to people's sensibilities because number one, you're committing a crime and being in possession and consuming alcohol. And two, you set up a scenario that is fraught with danger. So can we agree that you did do some things wrong that night? Yes, sir. I found out about it on, a, I guess it was a Tuesday night, about 11, 15, 11, 30. Um, I was on, uh, I'm in the Air Force and I was on active duty at that point in time. Mm -hmm. A buddy of mine had called me and said, hey, this is what, what I've heard, so you, know, you might wanna talk to Matthew. Why is she doing this if it happened exactly the way you say, which I'm not okay with, mm -hmm. but if it happened exactly the way you say, why is she doing this? Um, I think it, I don't think it was her. I think it was her dad <clears throat> that is pressing the issue and he got involved and he's the one making her do this because um, we have found out that she is uncooperative with the police. Um, she doesn't, she's nowhere to be found or anything. Mm -hmm. And how do you know that? Um, inside sources from the police department. They're telling who? Um, my dad. At this point, um, are you, you said in your tape, I, I know God says that, the Bible says that we should forgive, but it's hard for me to forgive her when she's lying. But you've now just said she doesn't want to do this. She isn't actually wanting to prosecute this. This is her father pushing it. So why would you be upset with her? Um, just because she, she can stand up for herself and say, yes, I did do this. And yes, this happened instead of backing down from her dad. Did, did it ever occur to you that night that you were way out of bounds here? Um, what do you that mean you, that? Well, that you were at an unsupervised party and you mm -hmm. knew your parents wouldn't want you to be there. You were drinking, you knew your parents would not want you to be drinking. You were drinking to excess. You knew they wouldn't want you to be drinking to mm -hmm. excess. You were giving alcohol to an underage girl with whom you were having sex and that they wouldn't want you to be doing that. Did any of those things ever trigger in you that this is a really bad situation and I just simply shouldn't be here. Um, the, the days after, um, before anything had happened with the police, I was like, that was really stupid of me to put myself in a situation like that. And I really regretted doing that. Mm -hmm. I, I guess whenever mm -hmm. you look at this yeah. situation, it, you've, got, you've got a girl that is saying that she was unconscious because of the alcohol but she can plainly restate what happened that night. I passed out, I woke up, Matthew was on top of me. I passed out, Ponder was on top of me. I passed back out, Tyler was on top of me. I passed back out. And I mean, now, just in the statement alone, that, that's, that's, that's kinda, when, when you're trying to think of, okay, well, was she unconscious? Because how did she keep waking up and how did she know clearly what happened that night? Mm -hmm. She had three or four shots and you say she is not a reliable historian because of that, right? If she was drunk and supposedly passing out, then how can you treat her as a reliable historian about what took place, which is a good and valid point. Right. He had 10 or 12 shots. So how can you regard him as a reliable historian? If she is disqualified with three or four, how is he not disqualified as, at 10 or 12? That's the problem with that. Hi, I'm Dr. Phil. How you doing? Good. Are, are you still in school at this point? Yes, I go to okay. Christian school now. Yeah. 
Have you changed schools? Yes, I had to. Yeah. I tried going back to my old school because I thought I could make it work, but... Right. And what happened when you went back to your school? I was being basically ridiculed, and they would tell me that I was in the wrong because I was <clears throat> destroying everyone's future. There were, there were five of you there that night, correct? Four boys plus yourself? Yes. When you went over there, you thought there were going to be two other girls. <clears throat> Who came and got you, or did you drive yourself? I don't have my license, and I don't know how to drive in general. Okay. So how would you get to the location? Matt and Wesley picked <clears throat> me up. Okay, they came and picked you up. How did you know about it? Were you invited? I was invited by Tyler, and Tyler said his phone was dying, so one of his friends would call me. And who was that? Wesley. Okay. When you got there um, and you, you went in, what did you see? What, what was the setup? Matt, I mean, Tyler was coming downstairs, and he had glasses on, and he was, I'm pretty sure he was tipsy already mm -hmm. because he was kind of wobbling. And I don't know about Vinny. I wasn't really paying attention to him. I was there for Tyler. But did you notice that the other two girls weren't there? Yeah, did, but then Tyler ask? started talking about how he was texting some girl and he was saying how he was gonna invite her over and have sex with her in the shower, right in front of me. What'd you think of that? I was pissed. And that's basically the only reason I started drinking. How does that one lead to the other? What, what do you mean? Well, you said I got mad at him so I started drinking. Because all of his friends were over there drinking, and I figured that maybe I would be happy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay. Lighten your mood? Yes. Okay. Because and I figured I was stuck there anyways because, I mean, I don't drive. Right. Did you ask him to take you home? No. Okay. How many drinks do you think you had that night? I honestly can't recall. All I remember is they kept cheersing to random things, and they kept encouraging me to drink more. And so they just make a toast and take a drink? Yes. How many cheers did you participate in? I lost track after three or four. So how did you go from being around the bar cheering, as you call it, to winding up um, having sex with who? I actually don't quite remember. I remember going upstairs because Matt, I, one of them were carrying me upstairs and they set me down on Matt's lap and I kind of got really dizzy and then I like kind of stood up because I noticed they were unbuckling my pants and my shirt. And so I Who's told him I was Wesley and Matt and I told him I was going back downstairs that I was going to leave this. And when I went downstairs, I ended up on the ground and I don't really know how. And when I was on the ground, they kind of just like started taking off my clothes again. And Vinny stuck his hand down my pants. Mm -hmm. And I, I tried to stop, but I couldn't move. Were you able to say stop? I don't remember. When they set you down in Matt's lap and you said he and Wesley were undoing your clothes, did you say stop then? Yes. What did you, what did you say? I said, no, I'm going back down mm -hmm. to the party. And they were like, no, stay up here. And I, was, I said, no. Mm -hmm. And I went back downstairs. So you did get back downstairs then? I did, and that's okay. when I ended up on the ground. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.